you know, we got about 30,000 cabs here in New York City. Now, now, what would be a reason why it might be hard to get one of them? Uh, it's, it's raining out. Uh, it's rush hour. Uh, maybe one more thing. Yellow cabs don't stop for black men down here. Mm -hmm. Even black drivers don't stop for black men. I've even stood on the corner holding money in my hand to get their attention. You ever see a cab pass you up and pick up a white guy? Sure, quite, a, quite a few times. I, I have stood on the corner for over an hour trying to catch a cab, and cab drivers would just pass me by and pick up other people, and that is a fact. For some reason, they feel as that all black people have to be ignorant or thieves or drug dealers. So, I mean, but that's hypocrisy. That's that's the United States. What, what, what can we say here? They, they'll pick up the white guy before the black guy every time. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. If you think I'm joking, all you got to do is stand here with your camera for about an hour and watch. Hi, I'm Rusty Cundiff, and if you're anything like me, you're black, and you can't get a cab in New York. Is it just me, or is it about race? Now, here's the experiment. On one corner, distinguished black actor, Yafet Koto. You've tried to get cabs in New York before? All my life, all my life, all my life, all my life. And uh, have you got any? Never, 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 never. <laughs> A little way down the block, convicted white felon, Louis Bruno. What would a cab driver have to do to push you just over that edge where, where you, you might have to take some kind of action? Yeah, you know, uh, make a wrong freaking turn wrong or turn. call me amigo. Will cabbies pass by an Emmy-nominated black man to pick up a white murderer? How's it going, man? We're doing a little story on cabbies. Can we talk to you? Yeah, did you see another guy back there waiting for a... Yeah, yeah, why'd you, why'd you get this guy instead of the other guy? I have no any, uh, I mean, no any objection, no any something, no any yeah, uh, discrimination, this and that. I, I, I love all but everybody. Did you see the black guy at all? I saw him after I saw him. Let me just ask you some quick questions here. Which one do you think you'd pick up first? Would you pick up Harry Connick Jr.? No, I don't. No, you'd pick up any. The ZZ Top, and they would pick up anyone that looked like yeah. ZZ. ZZ Top. You'd pick up someone that looked like ZZ Top. Maybe he didn't see. So I decided to shed a little light on the situation. Did you see a, a, a black guy standing down there? Yeah, I saw it, yeah. Yeah, was he was standing underneath the light. Yeah, I saw it, but I, 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 don't, I wasn't sure he was passing yet. <laughs> now look at this guy in the back. Did you, did you realize? Well, that is the, the same one, yeah? Same one? Yeah. <laughs> Joe Bruno, criminal record, murder involvement, assault, assault. Oh, my goodness. Maybe Yafet looked a little threatening. Even a bozo stood a better chance than Yafet. Maybe they just couldn't see him. Can you read this line for me? B-E-C-F-D. That's, that's really good. Let, try this one. Try this line here. E-D-F-C-Z-B. That's very good. I mean, you have great eyesight. And, and curiously enough, you, you can see black on white very well. Of course, some taxi drivers did stop for Yafit, but more than half passed him by. Did you, did you see a big sign that said, uh, I need a cab, and, and, a, and a black guy standing next to it? You go anywhere, don't you? Could you take some friends of ours someplace? <laughs> They're going uptown and then they're going to Brooklyn. He doesn't mind taking you, does he? Do you mind taking us? What? You 
You should have shipped at 4 o'clock. It's 10 minutes to 3. All right, come on, man. If we hurry up and leave now, we can make it to Brooklyn, all right? All right, all right. I got to get a right. chip. Great deal. Hey, who got the money? You brought the money? I ain't got no money. I ain't got no money, no, man. What's up? Ten percent of the American public would pay five dollars to see Senator Orrin Hatch fight a big mean dog on pay TV. Eighty-six percent of all viewers would root for the dog. One hundred percent of women viewers would root for the dog. <laughs>